What's up, Maniacs? My name is Mex. I'm a wrestling fan, a wrestling enthusiast, a WrestleManiac, if you will. And today, we are talking about why Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair should main event WrestleMania, or at least night one of WrestleMania. It is probably one of the most talked about things on the internet in the last three months. We have been talking about this ever since Bianca Belair won the Royal Rumble back at the end of January and it's something a lot of people want to see. Now admittedly the story they've been telling on TV doesn't necessarily dictate or deserve a main event position however the fact that WrestleMania is over two nights and we know in the ring these women are going to pull it out of the bag give them the main event of night one of WrestleMania. And I've got a couple of reasons why. But before we get onto that, right here at WrestleManiac UK, I discuss everything that is WWE and AEW. So if this is the place for you, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well so you get notified each and every time I drop a new video. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get into it. Why Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair should main event WrestleMania. So one of the obvious reasons for myself is that WrestleMania is two nights. They have the luxury of having two nights, two main events. So why shouldn't the women's division get one of them? You know, especially if you're gonna definitely probably put Roman versus Edge versus Daniel Bryan as the main event of all main events on the second night, then the women should definitely earn a place as the main event of the first night. The last time we saw a main event women's match was Becky Lynch versus Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania 35. And a lot of people thought, including myself, well, this is a great match and this is a great occasion, but this is probably gonna be one and done. They're never gonna have another women's main event. But like I said, with the luxury of having two nights of WrestleMania, you can definitely afford space for a women's main event. And there is nothing like putting the legit boss, one of the biggest stars of the the women's division one of the biggest stars leaving the women's division and crossing over into the mainstream in the last 12 months as well in the main event of wrestlemania a lot of us are still clamoring for evolution 2 the all women's pay-per-view so again this will be a brilliant way to say that you're taking women's wrestling in your company very seriously by giving them a main event at your biggest show of the year and like i say granted it's not the main event of the main events it is the first night main event but it's the main event nonetheless both ladies bianca belair and sasha banks will then be referred to as main eventers at wrestlemania so guys pull the trigger do what's right because this women's division deserves it another reason that this should main event is to kind of rectify all the bad stuff they've been doing with Sasha Banks. In the last few years, they have not booked her correctly. In the last 12 months, they are really course correcting and fixing everything wrong they've done with Sasha Banks in recent years. And we can see that through the title victories, through the prolonged storylines, being a main event player on both shows, NXT as well. And let's not talk about Sasha Banks' horrible WrestleMania record of five WrestleMania matches and no win. Sasha Banks deserves a big WrestleMania match moment whether she's going to actually retain against Bianca Belair or drop the title to her putting Sasha Banks in the main event of Wrestlemania would be absolutely massive and nothing to show someone that probably feels a bit underappreciated at times that they mean business and they really appreciate her by putting her in the main event like i say it's still really unclear who is actually going to walk out as smackdown women's champion but putting sasha banks in the main event where we all believe she belongs like let's be honest here i think it's really important and sasha banks could do with a big wrestlemania moment Talking about the last 12 months, it has been a tumultuous time for people of African-American and just generally black heritage. It's been really bad with all the things that's been going on with Black Lives Matter, protests, etc, etc. And there's no better way to say that you support the representation and those people, those figures in your company than putting them in the main event of WrestleMania. Not only will this be, you know, two black people in the main event, but it's two black women. Black women usually dealt a very rough hand in this life. Putting these two in the main event of WrestleMania would be absolutely fantastic. It'll speak a lot to viewers worldwide and even those casual fans that two black women are main eventing the biggest show of the year. There is nothing more to say that you are in support 
of your female wrestlers, your black female wrestlers and black talents everywhere than putting them in the main event of WrestleMania. And imagine the hope it creates amongst your roster, amongst other aspiring wrestlers, that this is possible. If you work hard, you can main event it. No stigmas, no nothing. This can be achieved. Guys, I've got one more reason for you, but before I give it to you, remember to hit the like button. Show us some love over here at WrestleManiac UK. It does loads for the channel and I thoroughly appreciate it every time you guys do. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. Thank you very much. Now, the last reason that I think Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair should main event night one of WrestleMania 37 is the most biggest and blatant reason. Bianca Belair won the Royal Rumble. Now, I know WWE often mix up, oh, the winner of the Royal Rumble gets a main event spot at WrestleMania or gets a title challenge at WrestleMania. Now, either way, she's getting the title challenge give her the main event. Let's not mince our words here. You have been saying since the moment she won that title and got up on the turnbuckle and pointed at that side that she is going to the main event of WrestleMania. So give Bianca Belair that main event and there's no other way to make a bona fide star by them winning the Royal Rumble and then going on to WrestleMania and winning their respective world title. There is no other way to do it. It is proven. John Cena has done it. Stone Cold Steve Austin has done it. You know, this is a proven method to make someone a star for years to come. And I don't think you can underestimate it. Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks, two of the biggest stars of the women division today, they can go on to a WrestleMania main event and tear the house down. Give them that spot. It's well deserved. Bianca Belair won the Royal Rumble. That should have been the end of the video because you guys always say the winner of the Royal Rumble goes on to main event. So that should have been the beginning and end of this video really and truly. But yeah, Bianca Belair is the Royal Rumble winner for 2021. So she deserves to be in the main event of WrestleMania. So guys, those are some reasons as to why Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair should main event WrestleMania. Like I said at the top of the video right now, I'm not really sure the story deserves to be there, but we know when the women get in the ring, they are going to tear the house down. Let me know what you think in the comments and any other reasons why you think or why they shouldn't be in the main event of WrestleMania. Let me know all down below. Remember to hit that like button and if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel, subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified each and every time I drop a new video. WrestleManiac UK signing out and I'll see you.